Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Kieran. I'm a junior doctor and a comedian working in Manchester. If you're new here, welcome. And as always, make sure you're subscribed so you can get updates about future videos. I've seen a few YouTubers do this before and I've been setting up my desk for a while now. So I thought I would give you guys a sneak peek into my desk. I'm gonna take you on a tour of my desk and explain how it suits me working as both a doctor, a comedian, and a YouTuber. I've gone for more of a minimalist setup and tried to keep the budget as low as I could. So hopefully you can take some inspiration for your own desks. The desk itself is the IKEA Mike desk. And this was around a hundred pounds, which is for me is quite a lot for a desk, but the reason I wanted it in particular is for two reasons. First of all, it looks quite cool and it's quite a slender desk. The space I'm working in is not very broad. So I needed a really narrow desk to fit something in, but also something wide so I could fit this massive monitor on it, which I'll come on to in a second. The second cool thing about this desk is this desk is asymmetrical which I think looks quite cool so it's different on both sides but also what's great about it is that it has a storage system underneath so a lot of people have to buy these storage baskets to hide all their cables but this desk has a cable management system built in by having a little shelf underneath where I've stuck a multi-plug adapter. So everything is plugged into this adapter, which is hidden underneath the desk. Next up is this monitor, which I only got recently. This is the LG Ultrawide WN73A. Ignore all the letters and numbers. Basically, this is a 35 inch curved ultra wide monitor from LG. It was a really well reviewed monitor. And the other thing that I needed from a monitor was for it to connect via a single USB-C cable to my laptop, which is powering the whole system. And also for that cable to be able to charge my laptop. So in terms of cable management, I've got one cable going from the mains to the multi-plug adapter underneath the desk. And I've got one cable going from the monitor to my MacBook Pro. So that really is as much cable as you should have on show other than these little bits that I've not hidden very well. The monitor was on offer for around £450 and that was really important to me is that I didn't want to spend more than £500 on this screen. A lot of people will ask, why did you get a monitor rather than buying an iMac? This is less expensive, first of all, and is more easily upgraded. So if in two, three, four years time, I want to get an even bigger monitor or a different monitor, I can and, and know that this obviously was an investment, but I didn't go and spend two, three thousand pounds on it. The other thing is this being an ultra wide means that I've got loads of real estate to play around with. Next up, what's powering the show. So I've got my 2020 MacBook Pro with the Retina display and also the touch bar. The model I got is the 2.0 gig quad core processor with the i5 and also has 16 gig of RAM. Basically, this is a really fast laptop, which is what I need mainly for video editing. Next up, I've got the keyboard and the mouse. So the keyboard that I've gone for is the Apple Magic Keyboard 2. The reason I went for this one rather than any other is that it's got lots of shortcuts that are very specific for Mac which make it really useful. It's also really slim, quite elegant and minimalist looking, but also connects so quickly to Apple devices. So that's why I went for this one. For the mouse, I've actually gone for the Amazon Basics ergonomic mouse. So this monitor took so long to come, way beyond its due date, that Amazon actually sent me a voucher. So with that voucher, I was able to buy this mouse effectively for free. So this mouse was 17 pounds and I had a 10 pound voucher, which made the mouse seven pounds. I really wanted the Logitech MX Master 3, but it wasn't worth it for me. Like the difference I would get with that mouse for the amount it costs just wasn't there. So this mouse is perfectly fine. The scroll is a little bit laggy and I can't sideways scroll unless I'm hitting shift on the keyboard, which isn't too much of a problem for me, but it may be for some people. One of the downsides about having to use this mouse is that it comes with a little Bluetooth receiver. So I need to plug that in somewhere. My Mac MacBook only takes USB-C's because Apple and so that needs to be plugged in somewhere. So I have a USB hub that was given by my dad that has five USB ports on it. It's got an HDMI cable port. It's got a couple of SD card ports. It's got USB-C. It's got a headphone jack. It's got an Ethernet cable. It's got loads of other bits on it. So that is a really useful tool to have when you've got a Mac that doesn't have many ports, especially when I'm taking footage off my camera and I need to put it on the computer. So I plug the USB into this and then I can use my mouse. My favorite bit of the desk 
is the lighting. So I've got two lights, as you can see here and here. We've got, first of all, this light here, which I'm actually not sure where it's from. It was my girlfriend's light that she's brought into the flat with us. So I don't know where it's from. It looks quite funky and also it's gold. And I've put a Philips Hue smart light in there so it connects to Alexa. And also I can dim it when I need to. So for example, now when I'm recording a video and I don't want super bright light behind me, I've dimmed this light to give a little bit of backlighting. It also gives a nice light for if you're working working on the desk. And finally, behind the desk, you can probably see these little LEDs. So these are the Govi LED lights from Amazon. I got these from Amazon Prime Day, and so I got them super cheap, but all of these LEDs was about seven pounds. It's not connected to Alexa. I mean, I do have other Govi LED lights that are connected to Alexa, but it has a little button, which I've managed to stick underneath the desk. So it's super easy to sit down on the desk, press the button and turn the light on and off. I don't know what color we were on before, but now we're on blue. The other thing I have that I only bought recently is the SanDisk Extreme one terabyte SSD. This is an absolutely tiny solid state hard drive. It's dust proof, it's waterproof. It's meant to be really resistant to things. It connects with a single USB-C cable to my Mac and it's incredibly fast. I again got this on Amazon Prime Day, so I got it for 50 quid off. So I got it for around 100 pounds and normally it's around 150. It is a lot for a terabyte hard drive, but for my purposes, I needed something fast. That's it guys. I hope you enjoyed this video of my desk setup. I'm continually looking to improve it, but trying to spend as little as I can in doing so. I'd love to hear what you've got on your desk and what you think I'm missing for mine. Perhaps some greenery or maybe more LEDs. Drop a comment below. And as always, if you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe to the channel so you can get updates about future videos. Take care guys, and I'll see you soon.